<laughs> and before we present the final awards, we're honored today to have the Under Secretary for National Security, Lisa Gordon Hagerty, and to introduce her, my pleasure to bring up to the stage Dr. Steve Binkley, the Deputy Director for Science Programs. Let's give Steve a big hand. So good morning. Um, it's my distinct honor this morning to introduce Lisa Gordon Haggerty, who serves as the Undersecretary for Nuclear Security at the U.S. Department of Energy and is Administrator of the National Nuclear Security Administration. She was confirmed by the U.S. Senate on February 15, 2018. She brings more than 30 years of national security experience to her roles as NNSA Administrator and Advisor to Energy Secretary uh, Rick Perry. The National Nuclear Security Administration is a semi-autonomous agency within the Department of Energy responsible for maintaining the safety, security, and effectiveness of the U.S. nuclear weapons stockpile, works to reduce the global danger from weapons of mass destruction, and responds to nuclear and radiological emergencies in the U.S. and abroad. As the head of the Nuclear Security Agency, she also oversees the awesome responsibility of powering all of our Navy's submarines and aircraft carriers. You kids know that our <clears throat> submarines are powered by nuclear energy. They don't run on gas or electric like cars and planes that we see every day. And the nuclear propulsion is what makes them powerful enough to run for years on one, one fuel. Her job also entails overseeing the Nuclear Nonproliferation Organization. These are the people responsible for removing nuclear materials from different countries around the world. By doing their jobs, these foreign nonproliferation officials prevent the bad guys from getting the hands on things they could may use to make uh, weapons. You can say that in a lot of ways, they are like superheroes. Speaking of superheroes, our next speaker also heads a group of silent superheroes who work in counterterrorism and counterproliferation. This team goes after the bad guys and makes sure they sure all of us stay safe around the world. Not only do they get to visit and work with foreign countries to keep the bad guys out, but they also get to fly cool helicopters during important events like the Super Bowl and the Boston Marathon, where they work with the FBI to make sure no bad guys are around. In fact, counterterrorism is where the next speaker started her career at the Department of Energy. From there, she worked at the White House National Security Council and then became a successful businesswoman before the president asked her to join his team and lead the National Nuclear Security Administration. Please join me in welcoming the Undersecretary for Nuclear Security and Administrator of the NNSA, Lisa Gordon Haggerty. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for that introduction, Steve. I am so pleased to represent Secretary Perry, the Office of Science, and all of the men and women of our Department of Energy this morning. I'd also like to begin by hailing our victors, Yazada High School from Plymouth, Minnesota, and Jonas Clark Middle School from Lexington, Massachusetts, the 2019 Science Bowl champions. Wyzata and Jonas Clark have demonstrated not only brilliance, but teamwork, speed, and endurance. Congratulations. I, I'd also like to salute our runner-up teams who did so well and made it this far. And to all of the teams, all of the students, I want to acknowledge you as well for making it to the championship round in DC. Well done. When this year's competition began, more than 3,000 teams participated, representing all 50 states, Puerto Rico and the District of Columbia. Yet only 112 teams made it here today. You should be so proud being in the top 5% of the field.
After winning against the best and brightest in your regions, you gave it your all this weekend, holding your ground against fierce competition from across the nation. All of the competitors at the National Science Bowl are the best in our nation. So hold your heads high. You are also leaving here as victors with renewed determination and a renewed spirit for next year's competition. Equally important, I'd like to thank the teachers, parents, and coaches. Without them, none of us would be here. Please join me in thanking your supporters, coaches, mentors, and organizers. They know the hours you put in, the practice, the study, and the sacrifice. They have seen the sheer tenacity and grit you've shown, and I know how proud everyone is to see you here today. Finally, Steve, I'd like to thank you and your team from the Department of Energy Office of Science for your exceptional work in pulling this extraordinary event together. I know it's a labor of love, but it's also a labor of labor, and your team executes flawlessly every year. What I mentioned about the parents and coaches is true for your team as well. We simply could not do it without all of the National Science Bowl staff and volunteers. Thank you, DOE. Since it began, over 300,000 students have competed in the National Science Bowl. Many of them have gone on to successful careers in science and technology. Some of them have even come to work for us at DOE. Across the U.S., the need for professionals in science and technology far, far surpasses the supply. As Undersecretary for Nuclear Security, I can tell you there will be a continuing need for a new generation of nuclear engineers, chemists, radiochemists, health physicists, nuclear physicists, technicians, and other related discipline for decades to come. For our world is growing more competitive. As a nation, we are facing new and rising challenges in science and technology, which means there's tremendous opportunity for each of you. Through the aptitude you've shown, your combination, combination of smarts and heart, you can succeed in the fields of science, engineering, and math along with completely new fields that have developed since I was a student, such as quantum computing and artificial intelligence. And even as we recognize the need to recruit, develop, and retain the best and brightest workforce in our enterprise today, we see the necessity to build even a stronger one for tomorrow. That's one of the reasons why we host the National Science Bowl each year along with other challenging com competitions like the DOE Cyber Defense Competition, in which university students defend their networks against simulated attacks launched by cyber experts at national labs and in the private sector. It's also why we support a range of STEM-related activities at DOE and across our many national laboratories, plants, and sites nationwide. At our national laboratories, we've decoded DNA, helped kickstart the World Wide Web, brought safe drinking water to countless people, developed technologies that helped detect and reduce global nuclear threats, assisted in creating the shale gas revolution, ignited the LED revolution, and we power interplanetary explorers. And at these same labs, we are about to unlock the unprecedented potential of artificial intelligence. DOE AI is already being used to optimize the electric grid, security, increase energy efficiency, among a host of other energy-related applications. AI is also being used to reduce traffic jams, strengthen cybersecurity, predict extreme weather, improve emergency response, and even develop better treatments for cancer and traumatic brain injury. You may be involved in developing innovations and technologies along these same disciplines. And as you con continue, chances are you might end up collaborating with DOE, along, uh, with DOE alongside your former competitors here. This spirit of inquiry is what the National Science Bowl is all about. And I hope everyone here and those making up the 3,000 teams are ready to explore the possibilities out there for you. It will shortly be your task 
to build a bigger and bolder future, one that's even greater than our dreams. I'm certain of it. After the competition, I hope you have learned that through your dedication, perseverance, and innovation, there are no limits to what you can achieve. Congratulations again to all of you. We hope to see many of you next year. And for those of you that are aging out of this wonderful event, keep DOE in mind, perhaps for an internship or a future undersecretary for nuclear security. With that, I'd like to turn the program back over to Mr. Zarin to begin the award ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Undersecretary, for your, for your wise words and your encouragement and for dignifying our competition here this morning. She's going to stay up here with me as we award all of you that have done so well this morning. The 16 middle school teams that advanced to double elimination on Saturday will receive $1,000 for their school science departments. The top three teams, which you're about to meet, will also receive a trophy individual medals and certificates. Join me now in congratulating the third place team, Daniel Wright Junior High from Lincolnshire, <laughs> Illinois. Come on up. We need a stage director here, Jan. <laughs> Great job, team. Great looking trophy, too. The pride of Illinois. We watched them this morning. Our second place team actually won the championship two years ago, and they also got $500 the other day because they came in second in the Cyber Challenge. That tells you about the kind of talent we have here on the Joaquin Miller Middle School team. Second place. <laughs> Does your mascot have a name? Nice job, guys. <clears throat> so we go from the whale, from the cetacean, to guppy power. That's what they tell me. Our first place team never been here before in first place. They thought maybe they'd finish third. They're taking home the trophy. Would you welcome Jonas Clark, middle school, Lexington, Massachusetts. their fourth year of competition, thought maybe they'd finish in the top 16. What a great surprise for them and for us. Great job. <laughs> we need some music for that. That's a good shot. Congratulations, guys. <clears throat> And now, the high schools. The top 16 high schools will receive $1,000 for their school science departments. And the top three teams, also a trophy, individual medals, and certificates. Join me in congratulating the third place team, a school that has been here for 20 years, so you know how good they are. Welcome North Hollywood High School from North Hollywood, California. <laughs> You guys are crowd favorites. Nice to have you back with us.
Nice job. Come back for year 21, Hollywood. Next, coming to the stage, what a game they played today and what games they played through the weekend. Would you welcome back Dulles High School from Sugar Land, Texas? Come on up. In addition to the $1,000 and the trophy and the individual medals and the certificates, this team will be going on a five-day, count them, a five-day science trip to Alaska this summer. Come on up. Nice job, Douglas. And now they demonstrated why they are coming to this stage. Virtuoso performances today on this stage. Would you please welcome this year's champion, Wyzetta High School from Plymouth, Minnesota. We've had guppies was have a way on. Notice they're carrying a shark who brought them good luck today. Thousand dollars, trophies, certificates, a banner for your school, and all of you are going on a 10-day trip to Alaska this summer. Whoa. Let me play tour guide here. You're going to the Copper River Delta, known for its wild salmon. You're going to experience the mystical appeal of old growth hemlock and spruce. You're going to go hiking through the Chugach Natural Forest. Natural Forest, you're going to go whitewater rafting. Boy, I want to go on that trip along the Sheridan River, and you'll travel across Prince William Sound and Orca Inlet. And you'll see the world's largest population of sea otters, and you take our great thanks and admiration with you. Congratulations to Wyzetta. Love the smiles, love the smiles, just like that smile on that shark. The Department of Energy Office of Science wants to thank all of you, all of the coaches specifically, and all the fam families for your hard work and support. I'd like to thank all the participants here today. Thank you for being such a great audience. You've been sitting here for a long time. You've been just terrific. Special thanks to the many volunteers that have been here. I'm going to turn this microphone over to our favorite lady, Jan Tyler, who's going to tell you how to dismiss and how to get to your airplanes. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> 